Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through and reviewing Pop! OS 1904. We'll first explore its contents and everything it has to offer with the default desktop environment, and then I'll go ahead and give it some ratings. Right now we're at the screensaver here, and we'll go ahead and log into the system. Uh, a couple things you can access here is just the volume, and it just tells you what uh, charge you have on your laptop, if you have a laptop, and your network connection connected. Um, if you are new and stopping by to watch a review today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more reviews. And after logging in, you'll be greeted to a screen similar to this. Unleash your potential here at the bottom, it says. I'm kind of just going to go through things here. And uh, my first impressions here are that it really looks and feels kind of like Ubuntu or Debian uh, since it's a uh, GNOME desktop environment. The desktop uh, is very minimal here, as you can see, nothing really cluttering it up. It seems like it's very bright and has a light color tone for the background and really just the rest of the uh, applications on Pop! OS here. So we go back to the top, we have a few more options here now, the wired connection, so you can actually change things now. If you hit wired connection, you can turn it on and off and change the settings for your uh, wired connection. Then if you hit the uh, fully charged, you can change the different types of performance levels that you want out of your battery. So high performance is going to be more resource intensive, so you're going to use more battery life balanced in between. And then you can check your battery life, change uh, more power settings if you want. Then if you hit the uh, user, you can log out and check out the account settings. You have uh, some other settings down here, just the general settings. Uh, if you hit this, you can log yourself right out, log back in, and then uh, night mode and to shut down, restart, uh, power down the computer is uh, this little button here. Um, you can highlight in this distro. Then on the top here, you have the date time as well as when you hit the activities, you get a search menu up in the top middle right here. And uh, if you have multiple workstations going, you can select between them over here on the right hand side. On the left hand, you have your little dock that you can use. Uh, Come standard with the Firefox as your web browser. If we go through and hit the files, uh, you have a file browser which resembles sort of uh, Windows and has some of the similar names such as desktop, uh, documents, downloads that you would see in uh, the Windows environment as well. Some other things you can do, top left here, if you hit the drop down, create new folders, add uh, bookmarks, so save locations that you might go to quite often, paste, select everything, go through properties, or open a terminal. Now if you open a terminal, this I'm just wondering if this is going to lead you to the same place that you're currently located in. So you're in the home folder, so it's home savvy Nick, and I believe that's where you're at in here. So let's just try going to the desktop, what happens if we hit open in terminal. Now we are in the desktop. So that's just a cool little thing to know. It's always uh, under the drop down. You can open wherever, whatever location that you currently are in, in uh, terminal. That way, if you have to execute some, com some commands in that directory, it's easy to navigate there. You don't have to re-navigate in terminal. And then if you look over here in the file browser, you can sort uh, in different ways, as well as the undo, redo, or zoom in and out so you can see your folders better or the names. Reload as well, if something hasn't reloaded, you can force reload it from this option. You have different views. If you wanna to toggle through your views, just click so you can have a list view. Let's see if we can find somewhere with some info in it. Let's see. So now you have grid view and then you have the list view here. So you can see the difference what else do we have here? A couple other shortcuts here. You can even show the hidden files if you select that option. Uh, and then preferences, uh, help, some other stuff. Uh, you also have the find feature, so you can go ahead and uh, find locations a little easier. Find uh, file types as well. You can also make little statements here, uh, like uh, when, you can select dates, what, uh, what are you searching for, files, folders, documents, illustrations, uh, so on and so forth, uh, file name or full text if you want to search for. Yeah, it's, uh, I actually like this little feature, not all distributions come with this, 
uh, makes it a little easier for you to search through the operating system and find your files or specific uh, text and files if uh, you've forgotten where that file is located. Uh, we'll exit out of here. I think we've gone through the uh, file browser enough. Now Pop! OS uh, actually focuses on uh, privacy and uh, supplying a minimal desktop environment, packing their uh, system full of practical packages that uh, help you start developing applications with uh, various languages right away. It's uh, also very lightweight and it's easy to install. The default uh, desktop environment, as I mentioned before, is GNOME and it is a Ubuntu-based distribution, which uh, lends itself to a great community for support. We're going to check out uh, Terminal real quick. So uh, we got this kind of green uh, user and hostname scheme here, uh, very light in color. You got white while you're typing and uh, kind of a gray background here. Makes it really easy on the eyes, nothing crazy. Now one thing uh, while I'm mentioning that, uh, I don't like necessarily the background that comes standard. It's a little bright and a little hard on the eyes, at least for me. So I like to go ahead and look through the various wallpapers that they have. They have plenty of different ones that you can choose from that in my personal opinion are a little better. I'm just going to select uh, a different one here. You can also change the appearance uh, colors and there's a bunch more options over here on the left side. So if you uh, right click and hit the change background it actually just guides you into the settings and to the appearance tab. So it's like actually hitting settings, but it just goes straight to the appearance. Uh, they also have a dark mode if you want to turn that on or off. And um, then you can also go through all the other settings that it has over here, network settings, devices, online accounts that you want to connect to, let's say email and stuff like that, uh, region language, uh, search options, notifications, all that fun stuff. You can also search through your settings. We'll go ahead and exit out of this. You can also get to that by doing the same thing down here, settings. Now they do have a different one called display settings here, which is uh, more for specific devices. As you can see on the left, now you have displays, keyboard, mouse and touchpad, printers, thunderbolt control, and then uh, the color. You can change your orientation and the resolution that you're currently set to. And you can en enable the uh, high DPI daemon in order to support your high resolution uh, monitors. If uh, you've made it this far, go ahead and take a moment to like the video. It really does help me out. We'll go back into the terminal, kind of close that out on accident. Just wanted to check this out real quick. Just uh, log in as the uh, root user. Let's see here and uh, just notice how the uh, host name and the username for root, the color scheme changes whenever logging into the root user. Um, then if we just log out, we go back, it's back to green. And real quick, I'm just going to use, uh, let's see, Vim here, main CPP. And, Vim's not. and I forgot that Vim never comes standard, but uh, I'm just going to do BI main CPP. Just uh, kind of look and see what uh, some of the other colors are in here. It's all still uh, blue and white for all the default here, which uh, is really easy on the eyes. I, I like these colors. Um, terminal seems great. You can also have multiple tabs of terminal if you go ahead and just hit this button right here. And uh, a couple more options if you want to increase the text size, you can here by zooming in. It's currently at 100%, but as, as you can see, you zoom in, it gets bigger here, a lot bigger. Now I do notice something. This is kind of always defaulted to 100% here as I'm even increasing this, so I don't know if that's a bug or what's going on there. Uh, you can see the text getting larger, but uh, you don't see this value changing, although when you hit it, it just goes back to 100%, so maybe it's just defaulted for that. I do uh, have a in-depth uh, programming video I streamed recently in which I use Eclipse with Pop! OS uh, to create a very simple uh, list program with uh, C, C++. So you can check that out if you want. It's, uh, I'll put a link in the description below 
and you can also go ahead and uh, check uh, through my channel to go ahead and find it uh, if you're interested of course one other thing that's kind of uh, unique with pop OS is the fact that it's uh, developed by a retailer called uh, System76 which also sells uh, desktops, laptops, and server setups that are geared towards their own distribution as well as compatible with other Linux distributions and if we go back in here you have the pop shop so you can go ahead load that up and uh, download and install all sorts of packages that you might like you can see they have subcategories down here uh, accessories, education, office, math, science, engineering, kind of just some categories you can look through, graphics, whatever you're interested in. It's uh, very nice and then it's got the uh, top picks right here from Pop, things that people tend to install quite a bit, Steam, that makes a lot of sense, and Chromium or Chrome uh, web browser likes it out of here. Go back up into activities and check out what other applications come standard here. Uh, just very basic things. Uh, now Eclipse doesn't come standard, I actually install that on my own, but they do have a weather app here and uh, different system utilities that you can use, power statistics, startup applications, keep track of your passwords and advanced network settings, the minimal uh, calculator calendar, a web browser, and the weather app's a little unique, very nice to use, and uh, just a plain old text editor. And at this point, I'll go ahead and give it some ratings. So Pop! OS has been growing in popularity and offers a nice, minimal desktop environment, and their install is super easy to go through. I'll give it a popularity rating of uh, 6 out of 10. It's also simple to use since there's not a lot of clutter, and it seems to focus on keeping the learning curve to a minimal when transferring from another operating system. Although you can install other desktop environments, it doesn't deploy some of the more friendly environments for people who are coming over from Windows or Mac. So I'll give it a user friendliness rating of 7 out of 10. Since it's very stable and doesn't focus heavily on raw performance gains, but follows the rolling and stable release of Ubuntu, I'll give it a performance rating of 7 out of 10. This distribution is also based off Ubuntu, but they do have a uh, some of their own custom applications and since it is based off Ubuntu I'll give it a features rating of 8 out of 10 and finally it seems to have a smaller community supporting the distribution but also has the Ubuntu community backing it up since it's Ubuntu based and that lends it to a pretty good sustainability rating I'll give it a 7 out of 10 that gives it an overall score of 35 out of 50 I hope you enjoyed this review and walkthrough of Pop! OS 1904 let me know if you think the rating system is fair, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos, and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.